Well, it's not all glitz and glamour on the road with a Division I college basketball team. And we sent our cameras along with the Bulls on their recent road trip to Seton Hall to find out what life is really like away from the comfy confines of the Sun Dome. Nothing was off limits. Everything was fair game. And as they say, the film doesn't lie. Here's this week's Coach's Corner. Well, it's fun. You know, you had time to joke with your teammates, tell a lot of old stories, you know. So being on a plane and a bus and at the Sun Dome before you leave, it, it helps us out a lot and builds a lot of new friendships. All right, ready? Yeah. The first year you do it, it's fun. And you get to see all these places, but as you get older and you do it all the time and you miss classes, you just want to go and you just want to play the game and get out of that city. You're not there for too long. But, you know, you're just there to play that game. You want to get there, play that game, get it over with, and get out of that city. Thank you. We had our iPods out, you know, listening to this music. The best rapper alive, Lil Wayne, you know, on the airplane. It was kind of a bumpy ride, but, you know, we made it here safely, landed. Control Gransberry always has a fear of flying. He can never sleep too comfortably on the plane. Uh, because he's so scared about you know something bad happening or something like that and he always makes sure he uses the bathroom before we get on the plane. It's definitely colder in Newark. We left Tampa today, just had on our long sleeve shirt with some slacks and a tie and when we landed in Newark we saw uh, snow on the ground. The life of a college basketball player. French fries, burger, all right. See I eat healthy a little bit. <laughs> At least I drink healthy. I'm going with Melvin Buckley on this trip. Hang out with Melvin tonight. Hang out with some other teammates. Watch some TV. Talk on the phone to my beautiful girl from Melissa. And uh, call it night. So we'll see you guys later. Try it. Um, you, want, you want it like that? I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, all right. Thank you. We had breakfast this morning. We woke up pretty early, about 9 o'clock. I had the normal breakfast, the omelet, some sausage, bacon, you know, some orange juice. But personally, I felt great waking up. I had a nice night of rest. Uh, you know, the standard pre-game, pre-game meal. Today and walk through, you know, we was in one of the basement gyms, you know, which we, we can't help, you know, that's that's where we were. Usually we walk through at the main arena and get to shoot on the baskets that we're going to play on tonight, but, you know, that's no excuse whatsoever. You know, we just got to be ready to play tonight. Well, usually two to three hours before the game, I cut my phone off, so there's no phone calls, and, you know, I'm focused on what we have to do and read our scouting reports and make sure that we know who we're defending and their tendencies and everything like that. And we're about to see what the Bulls can do with Seton Hall on the road. Final three games of the season, second to last road game of the year. USF without a road win in Big East play, trying to get one tonight. Interesting note is that the Bulls could not shoot, obviously, in this building since they got here. Went to a small auxiliary gym on campus. Very tiny gym, actually, and uh, the Bulls went through the shoot around, their shoot around early today. All right. <laughs> hey, let's, 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 let's get off to a great start. Get off to a great start again. This game cannot be more important to them than it is to us. Okay, one possession at a time. Okay, trust each other, play with confidence. Take a minute. USF in the road, Green will move to our right, Seton Hall in the home whites. Players the center circle, the ball in the air, and the tap controlled by USF. We're underway from the Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Saka, the freshman at 6'6", dribbling, dumps down low to Mattis, catch it, two-handed thunder dunk. McHugh going to the hoop. Okay, well, we're going to go back home, and we're going to come out there with a different level of intensity. Some way, somehow, somebody's going to do it. We said, we hold people on the seventh that we're going to win. Team on three. One, two, three, team. You know what I'm saying? They came out, scored 54 points in the second half. That's the game. You know, we didn't come out, we didn't execute on defense. Um, offensively, we struggled, 19 turnovers. That's the, that's where, that's where everything fell down. It was always great to uh, have a chance to meet your family. Uh, it's a, another inspiration to play. That's one of the reasons I came to Big East. I know I had a lot of family up in the Upper East, and it's just great. I wish we could have won. Being a college athlete, um, Go here and there and here. You got to wake up at early times of the morning, possibly get snowed in in places, and it's just real hard, but you got to fight through it and, and just do what you got to do to get through it and get home. I get up early anyhow, but uh, I mean, it's kind of stressful just getting up, 
and just traveling back and forth. Every plane ride, I try to call my mom and my girlfriend. Um, just I'm trying to get over the nervousness, just the motion sickness from the turbulence, I guess. But I'm taking Dramamine, so it'll, it'll all get through. Hopefully, real soon if I start flying a lot more. So hopefully I'll get over. But for now, it's just real, real terrifying on the turbulence part. Well, that is some good stuff right there, Coach, and a little peek behind your life and the player's life. And uh, Unfortunately, it is a business trip for these guys. Well, in a lot of ways it is, but I think the comments of the players and the comments obviously vary. Uh, each of them see uh, travel, team travel, uh, differently. And, but it's interesting, you, you hear the seniors, and you, you, you can just hear and sense the, the, the difference in the level of experience and maturity. And uh, but I think they have a lot of appreciation. They also benefit uh, from those trips. And just hearing the comments in terms of how they'll learn and how to prepare for games. Uh, Chris uh, Howard's comments were excellent in terms of two or three hours before a game, he turns off his phone. That's, uh, that's so important. And uh, uh, I want to just, my, I really have a great deal of appreciation to uh, uh, Town 28. That was, a, I, think, uh, I hope our fans will really, really appreciate those behind the scenes uh, looks at the, at the program, the travel, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, section there on the seniors. And uh, I think it really uh, gives our fans a, a, a different view, a much greater understanding of all the things that go into uh, the making of a season, the making of a program. It's a three-day trip cut down to about five minutes, so a lot of good stuff in there as well. Hey, it's been a lot of fun this season with the Bulls. We'll have some final thoughts when we come back.